Um, yesterday I won the Drop Knee World Title, uh, a tour which I'd been chasing all year. I've been bodyboarding for about 20 years. I started bodyboarding because it was a pretty big boom in the early 90s and um, seemed like it was a thing to do. Um, ever since I started, I just you know haven't looked back and it's always been, I always just like riding waves really and just started getting good at it. Started getting sponsorships and one thing led to another and I got started getting paid and won my first world title in 2003-04 and then the second in 2004 and five. Yeah, now, eight years later or something, I won a drop knee world title and I still got some more in the tank for the prime. Obviously I'd like to I'd love to win another Prime World title. I've just got to focus on these next two contests and get and re-qualifying for next year and and um, that's the plan. Yeah, so it's pretty um, easy to get hooked up on, you know, the Drop New World title and just being pretty stoked about that. We had a few beers and all that last night. It was good times and it was just a good win because it only happened, you know, just happened in the last five seconds and it made it pretty exciting. But I've just got to forget about that now. You know, the Prime's going to kick off tomorrow. I've got a pretty hard heat, first heat, Mitch and Winnie. I need a first and second in both of my next two heats. You know, it's just a matter of kind of just re refocusing now and I want to do well in this contest. I I'd love to make the semis or final in this event. I've got to get through these next couple of heats and take one step at a time, take one heat at a time. I feel good, feel ready, but I just got to, um, got a very hard heat. The guys are good. Just need a little bit of luck and just need to be on my game tomorrow and um, see how we go. The conditions are pretty big today. It was like 10 feet today. A little bit big for this spot. Um, and the direction was a bit sus too, but over the next couple of days the winds are going to back off and go offshore, the swell's going to drop off a bit. And this way is a really cool wave, it kind of has a big wedge in it with sections on the end, so like, you know, you'll see some good riding going down, some good tubes, some good airs off the first section and that close out section on the end, some good reverse airs. It's not like a, a dangerous reef like um, you see in a Rika. So um, you're going to see guys going for it. It's really good for reverse airs and things like that. So um, I think that suits the Australian riding a lot. I like the wave. It reminds me of a wave at home, Northwall. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out there. It should be, um, should be good.